Hey everybody and welcome back to UE5 BP Guru uh, tutorial series. Um, this one's going to be a little bit diverging off of the FPS um, sort of tutorial series we're doing for Haven, the Haven project. But I thought this might be some useful for some people who are following along but want something slightly different. Um, we're going to be looking at creating a camera like Skyrim where you can change between first person and third person. Uh, it's a lot easier than you might think. What we need to do is basically just open up our um, third person, Ooh, our third person BP. Here we go. Uh, because we do all of the controlling stuff in there. We also need to open up our project settings and we want to create a new uh, input to be able to do this. So we've got our jump sprint and crouch. Let's uh, click again and we'll call this one uh, third person perspective slash first person perspective. So TPP slash FPP. That's how we're, we'll, um, we'll, we'll call this. So uh, actually I want to call it toggle, toggle, toggle TPP slash FPP. Next thing we want to do is we want to assign a button. Now I always do the tab button for this on the on the computer. And for the gamepad, I normally do the left option button. Now that might not work for a lot of games, especially on PlayStation, because I think that's now their sort of um, streaming button, but you can pick any button you want. I'm just gonna set this up for now. Uh, so it would be um, special left, I believe. So special right is like your normally your start button. That's where you would put all your options and things like that. The left button is, as I say, I think it's on PlayStation it's now a share button, but on the Xbox I think you can still assign that to a uh, to a, to whatever you want it to be. So we'll leave it as that for now. As I said, you can assign these to whatever you want them to be. It, it really doesn't matter too much. Next thing we want to do is come into the viewport. Now we need to add another camera in. So click add. We want uh, just put in camera. Um, we don't want a cine camera. We just want a normal camera. And we'll call this um, third person perspective camera. And we're going to change our other camera. Rename that to uh, first person perspective camera. FPP camera. Now. I left the camera boom in last time. Uh, last time when we when we did we did the first episode, and the reason for that is because we want our third person camera to sit still on that camera boom. Pull it up, change it as you wish. Uh, a little bit of trial and error will be needed to ensure that this camera um, works just fine. Now that we've got our camera in there, now that should always remain there. You won't see it obviously in game, but it will always be there. Now, the next thing we want to do is right click and we want to find that toggle um, did I call it TPP yeah action events toggle TPP slash FPP get that action button we want a flip-flop as we don't want it to change back once we let go of it again you could if you wanted to have like a third person camera that if you held down toggle uh, held down tab it, it kind of shows you the area around you you could do that but for me I want it I want it to switch back and forth the next thing we need to do is grab um, our first person camera and our third person camera out. And we need to decide what we're setting active first. Now we're already a first person uh, camera. So when we press it, we want to set this one active. Um, and we want it to be uh, new active as true. And then we want to uh, we want to deactivate um, our first person camera so even though we're clicking set active we just don't tick it and that means it won't be active what we also need to do is um, we need to get our uh, there's a boolean we can get called um, user um, well, uh, rotation your 
use so yeah set use controller rotation your that's what i was looking for and for this one we want it to be false because we're not using our first person camera we can copy all of this and bring it down because it's going to be exactly the same code but it's just going to be backwards so you can literally deactivate the third person camera reactivate the first person camera and reactivation use control or your now with all that set up we should have a working toggle button so oh it's already ah so it's automatically taken the third person camera the easy if you wanted it to always be in first person first you would just have to uh, on event begin play activate the do that swap on the event begin play so it always sets it to true um, so yeah as you can see it will um, switch between first person and third person um, quite easily okay um, I will keep it on for now for testing purposes to make sure everything uh, works fine um, but I eventually will get rid of this function out of the Haven project uh, I don't think it's needed uh, at the moment but hopefully this helps anyone who's trying to create like a Skyrim style camera um, it's really as I said it's a lot more simple than, than you think it's just about swapping out the cameras and ensuring the controller knows which uh, functionality to use when in that camera but yeah thank you so much guys for watching this uh, very quick tutorial <laughs> um, if you've enjoyed this click that like button leave a little comment with any tutorials you want to see and uh, always consider if you wouldn't mind subscribing it's free to do and it really does help out the channel you can always change your mind down the line so thanks so much guys see you next time bye